Okay guys, I'm here today from Marcus Miroku, huge honor for me. And guys, today we're gonna go over here the coolest jiu-jitsu technique that I learned from Andre Galvão. So guys, when Andre came here to Boston to film one of his instructions, he taught me how he does his double leg, and then I made sure to watch him instruction when he was teaching as well, just so I could memorize. And one of the nicest takedowns that I ever learned for jiu-jitsu no gi. And, the, and I think like if you watch Andre competing, he does such an amazing job with takedowns for jiu-jitsu. And uh, we also have like two instructions with him all about takedowns at BGJ Fanatics, so make sure to check that out. But uh, let's work on here on what he taught me, guys. That was very, very interesting. So when he's fighting against someone, it sounds like he leaves his hands down just to pretend that he want to engage the guy. And then every time he does that, what's the normal reaction here? So for example, if Marcus comes towards me without using his hands, Probably what I'm gonna do is kind of like friend him on his shoulders, right? So Andre is expecting that. Andre knows that he's gonna approach his opponent and they will friend him with the both arms. So look what he does, guys. As soon as Marcus friend him, he kind of like squat a little bit and he uses his both hands like this to lift his arm up. And then he just step forward and he gets the double leg right away, okay? So guys, I think it's a lot about timing, right? So he approached Marcus and he just like, he forced Marcus to frame him, okay? And then as soon as Marcus framed him, he lifted his arms using his thumbs and his fingers like this. I even noticed in this structure that he talks about not doing this, do this. It's a lot more efficient. Instead of this, do this. And then in the same time, he squat himself a little bit and then he just step forward and he gets the double leg. I have seen him doing a lot as well in instructional using the head against the chest. So he's here, he go, 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 and then his head goes here against the opponent's chest. Another option as well. But talk about basics here. If you just want to start doing this, I think it's going to be easier to do with the head on the side just so you get the timing. I think the timing is the most important thing here. We even would love to hear address thoughts about it, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, so he he times the thing so well. So, and then you just step forward, and the double leg is there. So, did you tell you about the timing? I, I mean, like not using the hands and forcing the opponent to use the arms, and this detail of using the hand like this instead of using like this, because I think like our normal reaction is to try to do this, and this is not efficient, so he does this, this is efficient, look how different it is, here I can lift his arm up, here I can, and then it becomes very easy to approach, thoughts Marcos? Yeah, uh, I like how he uh, been following Andrea for a long time, and I like how he sets up faking, you know, when he goes, fake so well, right? he goes, he let the person touch, so push his shoulders, exactly, and then when he goes, he don't even let the person, and then he cleans He's up, already there, with right? the C grip, yeah. yeah, and like you say, time can be away from technique, and Andrea use time and technique together, which pays off, yeah, like yeah, nice. and guys, Andrea is one of the guys who has the most resources that I've ever seen, you know, like, uh, every position is good for him, like, standing, on the ground, on bar, on top, submissions, knee shields, whatever, wherever they put him in, he, he, he has a ton of resource to play from there. And standing is no different, like, he might be, like, one of the best jiu-jitsu standing guys. Let's put, like, jiu-jitsu standing guys, let's not put the, the like, Division One wrestlers, or like, but jiu-jitsu guys mm -hmm. who has great take, no, especially no gi and drap, might be for sure one of the very best ones. And the... Uh, Again, I really love it how how he times these things so well, you know, like. And then when you watch an instruction and you see him doing, you see that's not that hard, you know, like. And, uh, also, someone can teach you in the proper way, it's much easier to learn. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, guys. Andre has a bunch of instructions at djjfanatics.com, so make sure to check that out. And also make sure to check this man's YouTube channel, Marcus Sinoco, is putting out great content too. Os. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.